vlogs. Charot, charot. Hi guys, welcome to Benajara Vlogs, Charot Charot, and I want to say hi to Lance, my classmate. Thank you for always watching my videos. Thank you, classmate. And for today's video, I'm going to read Cinderella, my favorite character of Disney. Once upon a time, there was a pretty young girl named Cinderella. Cinderella was loved by everyone because she was good and sweet and kind. But Cinderella's widowed father believed she needed a mother. So he married again to a woman with two daughters of her own. Daughters of her own. Soon Cinderella's father died and she was left to live with her mean stepmother and two jealous stepsisters in the attic of their house. Poor Cinderella had to do all the cooking and cleaning. She no longer had nice things and wore only tattered old clothes, while her stepmother and stepsisters had very nice clothes and lived very comfortably. But no matter how mean her stepmother and stepsister were, Cinderella was always cheerful. Even the little animals loved her to be near her. She made friends with the mice and birds, making them little outfits, outfits to wear. And caring for them, two of Cinderella's best, best friends were Jacko and Goose. Cinderella and Jacko were always saving Goose from mean old Lucifer, the cat, who had eyes on the plump the little mouse. One day, a letter came. Inviting everyone to the place for a ball, Cinderella's stepmother said, Cinderella may go, but only if she finished her work. Cinderella happily washed our errand and scrubbed the floors all day. Meanwhile, Cinderella's little friends went to work. Making her a lovely gown, the birds and mice who loved Cinderella wanted to, wanted so much to surprise her. And when she saw that they had done, she was very touched. She put on the beautiful dress and ran downstairs to join their stepsister, to join her stepsisters. The birds and mice had used sashes and ribbons and beads that belong to Cinderella's stepsisters to make up. the dress looks not, look nice. But when her stepsisters saw the gown, they tore it to shreds. That's my ribbon, cried one, and those are my beads, yelled the other. Cinderella ran to the garden in tears. No, I can't go to the ball, she cried. Don't cry, child, said gentle said a gentle voice. I'm your fairy godmother. I have come to help you. Then the fairy godmother waved her wand for mice became four proud white horses and a big ground. A big round pumpkin became a glittering couch. Again, the fairy godmother waved her wand and turned Cinderella's torn dress into a beautiful gown. You must leave the ball by midnight. 
she warned. After that magic spell will be broken at the ball. The prince danced with Cinderella in the evening. Oh. On in all evening, she fell as if she were floating off a dream. The king and grand duke were delighted to see them falling in love, but the clock struck midnight. Cinderella ran the place she was in such hurry that the she left one glass slipper behind the prince ran after her but it was too late the next day the prince grand duke door to door er, what door to find the young woman who had lost the slipper when they got the sin to Cinderella's house, both stepsisters tried on the glass on the glass slipper, but they their feet were too much big. Cinderella's stepmother told the Grand Duke that there were no other ladies in the house. She had the look look Cinderella in her room upstairs and poor pose but cinderella's little friends goose and J jack told the, the the key from her stepmother's pocket. gas get from gas. gas and stole the key from her stepmother's pocket opened her door and free cinderella just in time when cinderella when Cinderella appeared and asked if she could try one the slipper, her stepmother was furious. She tripped and fought the man who was holding the slipper on a pillow. It fell to the floor and the shattered but cinderella reached into her apron poked and pulled out the matching one it was a perfect fit the grand duke was happy and relieved that he had found the slippers owner the prince would be married at last cinderella's dreams would all come true the end. Did you like the story, guys? And I also want to shout out from Lance, my classmate. Thank you for watching my videos. And that's all, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Charot, charot. Subscribe, please, and like. Bye-bye.